Hello everyone, I am Strat Tom and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4. And we're now on part 5 of our Germany playthrough. And just surveying the scene a little bit here, we're looking at Europe. I think that that really does uh, not do justice really to the level of power that we are at at the minute. So let's change it to faction map mode and boom, look at that. We are the dominant power in Europe and in Asia. There's a lot of Africa that we control, but still a lot that we don't. And there are a lot of neutral factions. Pretty much the main body of neutral factions are former British colonies. Now, Britain did go by the way of the uh, like communist revolution, and so they decolonized before they even got into any sort of conflict whatsoever so all of these states were independent they've not been dragged into any war that's happened so far so wars that have happened so far is that we took care of the allies um, which did not include America or it did not include Britain Britain had its own communist faction that was not the common turn the British communist alternative and we fought against them and we made a puppet of Great Britain. Then the Soviet Union did go on to make a puppet out of France and they were communist. And in the war against the Soviet Union we went through France and we also went through Spain and Portugal as well. So they were all part of the common turn too and now they are both puppet states of Germany as you can see there. As is Portugal. Uh, and yeah, okay, and so over here in the east, we have Russia. It's our puppet state, and basically all of this is our puppet state, all of this except these few states here in the middle, which belong to the Baltic Union, that Polish word there that I am not even going to insult anyone by butchering. So, they are our target for today. They gotta go. Whether or not I'm gonna go after the Yanks is, uh, I'm undecided. Maybe that'll make a great final episode where everything I've done so far just crashes and burns because I try and take on the United States and fail miserably so uh, I won't decide what to do I know I'm, I'm definitely going after the, the Polish uh, and their allies next after I've done that I might just start picking off some of these former British territories and see what happens if they join the Americans then I might be knackered we'll see we'll see we'll see anyway but for now Poland's gonna go. So let's get cracking. Because we've got right, loads of armies here that do not have any sort of direction at the minute. So get these men up here. Okay, now we play the waiting game. Which sucks. So let's instead play Hungry Hungry Hippos. I wonder if we'll get that reference. Great Britain knows the games. They're already planning attacks on the United States. Yeah, Poland and America are on good terms. I don't think they'll they'll join up. Right, there are a lot of non-aggression packs being cancelled. I can't help but feel like war with America is going to be inevitable soon. Oh my god, look at this. All these troop transports going about, are about. Okay, so we are ready. We're good to go. The justification is complete. I've got all troops in place. So let's do it. Once again. 
Right, let's actually see what we've got. So we've got a load of different states here. Some of them are not actually joining the war. Um, majors, it's only Poland. So, in theory, there you go, Warsaw's fallen already. Thanks to Rommel. Yeah, do me a favor, let's just start pushing on the ways. Poland not want to capitulate yet already. I've already taken two capsules off them. about to fall is this has got to be it surely I think so and there we go Poland has capitulated uh, and who actually got involved in the war not a lot of great many people got involved uh, okay so let's just take what we want first of all so uh, Danzig is ours we'll have all this whole area here Germany. Uh, okay, let's see what we can do here. Uh, well, Italy have Corsica, uh, Republic of Ukraine, done. Belarus, done. And you know what, I'm just going to start taking some of these African territories. Okay, let's see what we got here. Uh, we'll just take those. Oh, so empire, there they are. There you go. My gift to you. Right, okay. Let's have a look at the state of the world now. Um, yeah, we control still a lot of this now. However, that being said, Baltic Union still sits over there and still some South American territories that we could have too. So, we shall see about that. I might just see about finishing these off before we end this episode. 125 days. Yeah, we'll wait. Okay, so the wait is over, justifying on Latvia. So let's finish this up. Let's take all of the Baltic. Hopefully, this would be really annoying if Estonia don't join. They're not joining at the minute. Are, we can take them. Right, some ausrücken. Right, some ausrücken.
Okay, I'm gonna be as cool. Oh. Chile would seem also need. This one little bit's gotta go soon, right? Get in there. Take that one. Tile. Split some of them up. Uh, I need some tungsten. Yeah, from Burma. Right, if anyone's wondering um, why I'm not getting it from getting supplies from my puppets, uh, it is because I am concerned about raising the, too much autonomy from them, and they will get that if I start just taking all the supplies off them, or the resources off them, I should say. Egypt. Uh, I'm taking Egypt. Direct annexation. All right. What else we got? Latvia. Pop it, Latvia. Uh, yeah, let me uh, take them in that territory there. Chile, pop it that. Hmm, you know what? I'm going to connect up that Argentinian territory there. Let's go find Honduras. That's El Salvador. Uh, Honduras? Where are you? There they are. That was Honduras. That's still El Salvador. Uh, where have they gone again? I hate how he jumps around like this. have a look at Europe. That's a nice Europe and Asia. That's a nice looking map there, isn't it? And we've got Estonia left. I don't know that I can be bothered. And so guys, just as I'm going to wrap up here, I'm going to give you the full disclosure. This bit here that you're watching is where in my original recording, I said, Next time I'm going to take on the North American Federation. And I did try for an episode 6. And I failed. Essentially, I failed. My war with the USA made some initial gains, as you can see here. But it just got bogged down into a stalemate. And the game came to a conclusion as we got to the mid-1950s. And I hadn't made any real progress in years in game and so because this was Iron Man mode I couldn't go back and reload and do anything different so yeah balls did up so this is where I'm coming to you guys I wanted to ask you what could I have done differently I've always struggled to take on the United States in a late game I attack them through various channels uh, both from the sea and from two fronts you can see up in the north I started to take uh, Canada through Alaska and I tried pushing up through Mexico my main problem was is that 
try as I might, I just could not best them in the air. They had air superiority everywhere. And ultimately, this caused us to get bogged down. Anyway, any tips, tricks for the future, I'll gladly take them. I am sorry if you're disappointed by this anticlimactic finish, but I am looking out at this pan-Eurasian empire that I have conquered and thinking I've done a pretty good job. So thank you for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, leave a comment, all that good stuff. Tell me which games should I play in future. I've been Strat Tom and I'll see you next time.